All right, Diane, can you start again? <laughs> yep, let's call a meeting to order at 7.07 now. Yep. Um, this is primarily an update about the Lansing Millis building. Uh, as you know, some of you, we've had a hard time um, getting quotes and <laughs> it's been impossible to be honest about it. And I spoke with Mike Kaczynski because we have money part of as part of a bond bill and I wasn't sure it was still available. And Mike is hopeful that it's still available in the state. It's possible it won't be, but we'll see. So he's already sent in the original study that was done for the building, I don't know, five years ago, maybe longer. And we're trying to get as many quotes as we can to get to him next week. And he'll send those in. He says that it's a high priority for the state. They understand. Um, Rich had called a Mason and met with him, but his name is Don Parker. He's a, a townie, if you will. Um, he, he had said he would get us a quote. Nothing ever happened. The phone rang a couple of days ago and it was Don calling me because I'd done, he'd done some work for me in the way in the past. And he said he would like to really do a quote for us. So we're hoping if he gets back to me that we can meet him there on Saturday at the building and he can have his, one of his sons go down to the basement and take some pictures and then he can get us a quote. So he suggested that the reason we're getting water in the basement is because there is no apron on the back of the building and the water's just running down from the roof and the gutters and the downspouts and has nowhere to go except in the basement. Hmm. So we have another quote from a company that is a roofing company. And we're not sure whether that is as all inclusive as we need. We may need some additional downspouts and a couple other things, but at least it'll get us started with the state. And we can say, you know, here's where we're going. We're having a hard time getting multiple quotes. Not one quote would be lovely. We just have one right now. And if the Mason comes on, that'll be two. Um, so we're trying as hard as we can to get everything going. Kim, have you seen him in the room? Okay. I will say on the quotes, Diane, um, once we put something together formal and kind of go to the street, so to speak, um, and we can have something specced, I imagine we can still get, you know, multiple formal quotes. It's, I, I believe, just kind of in this early, you know, give us an order of magnitude so we can get a proposal together. Uh, yeah. People are kind of less willing to put their cards on the table or spend some free time for us. But you um, know, so the, other, on the, back the end, other, thing, other thing, Jeremy, is that everybody's busy and booked. And this is a little job for a vendor that's busy. So that's why we're having problems getting people in. Kim, did you talk to Rich? Yeah, he's, his Zoom is up to, updating. So as soon as that's finished, he'll be on. Well, okay then. So yeah. does anybody have any questions? Yeah, Diane, uh, you say, other than Donnie Parker, who was the other quote that you have right now? Um, the roofer, I can't, I honestly can't remember. I can look it up for you. Is it was some, somebody Ellen knew. And I mean, it took it us. Matter, it doesn't matter who it is. It's just my question basically is uh, has he included obviously the roof work and the flashing and, and the gutters? Uh, Donnie's correct when he says that the, the water's just running running straight down off that roof in the back. And uh, gutters, gutters and faces will cure a lot of that. Yep. So, John, what I have is from Aqua Barriers somebody Ellen's worked with, and it's for roof replacement, um, tarping the side of the house, removing all the roof from down to the wood decking, renail plywood, replace bad plywood. I'm sure it's all bad. Um, it, yeah. yeah, install certainty roof runner, synthetic paper over 
I wish you'd do ice and water guard, but that's just my opinion. I was going to do an eight inch drip edge, uh, starter course on the shingles and architectural shingles, ridge vents on all peaks, uh, certainty hip and ridge gaps, replace all pipe boots, and replace chimney flashing if needed. He said they would grind out the old lead flashing and install ice and water shield from the roof up to the sides of the chimney. New step flashing, new lead flashing, and mortar joints. I don't, I'm not smart enough to be able to share this because I'm an idiot. It's $55,400. Yeah, I'm not completely up to speed with today's numbers, to be honest with you, but uh, that doesn't actually sound like a bad price. Okay. How many, do we know how many square that roof is? No, I don't. In um, certain forums, they're talking about 600 a square for a roof, but um, this sounds a little more complex with all the flashing and and all of that stuff, so... But, Hi, Jim. I, I heard you. I didn't see you. Uh, um, yeah, I'm here. Um, no, yeah, I'm so here. anyway, so for a residential house, you know, standard stuff, roughly 600 a square, you know, is what the kind of going rate is nowadays. So Yeah, and then you then you bake in prevailing wage that, yeah, that seems like right. a reasonable number. Doesn't yeah. seem unreasonable given all the extra, all the flashing and, right. and all that stuff. Right? Ah, yeah. Mr. Nichols has joined us. So Who add fifteen percent, and then that's our that's our guess. Yep, Rich, yes. I've just gone through what we're trying yeah, to I, do. I talked to Kim. Uh, my Zoom decided to update yep. as I turned it on, so I just got through the update. So thank you. We have gone through the aqua barrier quote that Ellen referred us to. Isn't that their name? All right. So uh, we're we're going to be meeting with a, a mason again for the second time. Um, to go to try to get a quote for the masonry along with possibly two other ones. And um, we're going to have to try to get the asbestos guy. I did talk to Jim McKay earlier about yep. um, about getting the um, lighting outside upgraded. Um, there's a light pole that the town owns that has right now a really crummy light on it. And I guess there's actually either new lights or some sort of something where they can upgrade the lighting on that. Cause I think that would help a lot too. If we lit it up so the kids couldn't hang out there. Rich, Probably. I can call, I can call Jim. I think he had an extra from when we did the new building. No, I talked to Jim. That's he what I said. Have one? No, they have a light. So we just oh, have great. to get connected. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, we can add that to the list of things that we can uh, do to improve that. Good. Okay. So, so we're hoping to get everybody in there this week and get numbers next week so we can get them to uh, Mike Kaczynski. Correct. We met before with people. They just, unfortunately, because it's a smaller project, didn't get us numbers. So we're going to try again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that basically that was it for the um, Lansing Mellis. Um, and did we come, do we need to vote on anything on that? Or are we all set? Rich? Go ahead, Jim. Could I just ask, so just, so the purpose of this is to gather the quotes so that we can go to the Commonwealth and say, look, the project you want to do is going to cost us, pick a number, $200,000, because it falls within the grant, not the grant, but the bond. And they'll say, fine, we got plans, we understand what you're doing, we're willing to release $200,000, and you guys go find the contractors and everybody else actually do the work. Is that kind of what we're doing here? Yes, we want to get okay. them released. Yeah. So and they yeah. won't release the money without some kind of evidence as to what the real cost is going to be based upon some contractors and whatnot. Correct. Okay. And Thank we, you. Jim McCaffrey, we don't know right now whether the money is still available. Right. I understand um, that. Well, Mike, when I talked to Mike um, earlier, he said that that bond bill had not been, or uh, whatever it was, had not been touched because uh, they did try to do a clawback. And yeah. he said that, that was that was not necessarily included in that. But let's get it in and get it underway, and then we won't have to talk about it anymore. Thank you. 
Right. And if I if I can't, Rich, Jim, yeah, uh, then, then we'll do like a proper procurement with the advertising and the quotes and the whole thing for our, the actual vendor. This is kind of a gut check, order of magnitude, proof of concept, however you want to describe it for the state. Right. Correct. Sweet. So that's where we are. Yep. 